Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube page. I'd like to um, thank you for your many support. Thank you for um, the way you email and thank you for all that you have done. I just want. I also want to thank my producer Marlon and also God. I want to thank all the supporters, and I just would like to point to you. I know that we have been um, hearing a whole lot about class and all that, but I say that you don't have to be judged by class or social status. One doesn't have to be judged by the fact that I'm not in the upper class, I'm not in the middle class, I'm not in the... Um, um, the aristocracy don't have to be because we are a unique individual we are individual and we were created by purpose with purpose and the reason why we are created is to do the will of God we are created with a spirit within us now we have to understand that the only way that spirit is qualified and going to be ever be able to be activated or to give um, a impartation or an impact in society the world is when we understand that you don't have to fit in you don't have to be a part of the crowd or a part of the system or a part of you just have to be who you are be who you are being who you are is not necessarily being in the crowd, in the mix. It's not necessarily to be disrespectful and inconsiderate of people's feelings and people around you. No. Being who you are is to consider that as an individual, as a human person, as a human being, you've got life, feelings and energy to do what you've been given the opportunity to do on earth okay but to fundamentally know that you're here for a core purpose core the core of your existence that you will not die right unless you can accomplish that purpose so you don't have to be judged by the social system. You can create that. But there is a law in creating that. The law in creating that is that one has to be considerate, one has to be respectful, one has to be... It's, it takes a whole lot of work. A whole lot of work. So the only reason why I'm bringing this to you is because there's a whole lot of issue with class and all of that. But the end, but the implementation has got to do with law. Just as how that there is the laws of chemistry. You know, you've got helium, silium, beryllium, copper, hydrogen, aluminium, and all of these 20 elements to make it. You've got atoms, you've got the how much uh, that, 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 that I mentioned. You've got electron, neutron, electron and neutron and fire so fast around you. Scientists said it takes the earth 365 days and a quarter for it to revolve around the sun. You see, there's laws that exist to make us uh, um, qualify to be here on earth. You see, we are not just here because we are just here. We are here because of laws. Laws that cause us to be here. The different laws. Laws of nature, laws of gravity, laws of different laws. But we are saying that the laws that they make to um, wherever it was created 
class system, you know, you know, we're not saying, I mean, in added philosophy, philosophy is about a group of people that come together that ratifies or solidify the fact that, or, or authenticate the fact that, well, listen, this is the re this is what we would call this, and this is what we would call this, and this is what we call this, a class system. What we are trying to say is that it doesn't mean that you have to sit and take that doesn't mean that. Wind doesn't mean that. But what we're trying to say, if you are ever going to do that, well, as a take in consideration that there were people long before you, and you're going to give respect to them. You're not just going to come up here and just do it as it is. You're not just going to do it and accomplish it. No! But you are going to accomplish it by respecting what was there before. Having some um, recognition, some acknowledgement, some sort of respect to notoriety, some value. But at the same time, interject to implement your rights. There you go. There you go. That is a new class. You see what I mean? I'm just trying to help you to know that I don't want you to be perish away to say, well, I ain't in that class system. I was never in that class system. My daddy, my granddad, the dad before him, that before him. So I would never be. That's what I'm trying to let you know. No, you don't have to do that. There's no way, there's nothing that calls you, there's no law, no, that, no, nothing that calls you to do that. You don't need to do that. What I need you to know is that you've got a right. And that right has power. It's got motivation. It's got power and fire. But I am teaching you to do it the right way by respecting what was there before, by respecting what you're going, and by doing that, you're building the ground to mount your purpose, to mount your vision, to mount your class, to mount it. And then you will be something, something or someone to be read of interested because somebody can see the past present and future you need to understand that if you are ever going to bring anything alive it must be clear it must have past present and future to understand it so people know that this is not just overnight not just a thing of just a dream not just a nightmare rather but something has been well thought about, well examined, well. Now you are my friend, and I'm just supporting you. Don't be judged by class. Don't be overput by class. Don't be undercut by class. Don't be outcut by class. Knowing that you've got a right to implement to instigate, to validate. You've got the right, but within your right, there's laws that must be obeyed. Do what you do, but do it right. And do it in style. Do it thinking big and wide, the bigger picture. I will say to you, don't you ever be there to be put off by class, this class system, any system, or any social dynamics. You can create your own. That's what philosophy is about, that's what this world is about. Creation, the power of creativity. And I dare you to get a disciplined life. 
then create. Well, my friends, now think about it.